Anupandi, who starts a match between a team hit by despondency and a club struck by tragedy in the last couple of weeks. How will each react, I wonder, today? Chelsea in blue, playing in the first half. From right to left, Scott Minto is number 17 with the ball. Viali, who passed a fitness test on a calf strain. Didn't have much luck when he played on the other big northern ground near here, Anfield, a few weeks ago. They lost 5-1. There's a good following for Chelsea here today. And those that couldn't get tickets watching at Stamford Bridge, these BBC pictures. Here's Roy Keane for Manchester United to Cantona. And onside, Solskjaer. This is Keane. Good interception by Clark. Here's Burley. Chelsea moving with a bit of a swagger at the moment. Petrescu. Wise. Hughes. Now they want somebody wide left, but there was no one. Goes back to LeBerth. And Jonsson brings it out. And wide left for United is Scholes. Cantona and Solskjaer are on this side, coming in now. The ball didn't. Keane. Irwin. Oh, yes, beckons away. There by Cantona. Scholes coming near post. Cantona has to completely, but it may still run for Nicky Burt. No, it doesn't. for Chelsea, but ideally they could have done with one man more in there to finish it off. But they are counter-attacking well. Rude Hullet would have been pleased with the build-up. Di Matteo, and that's also who is at his best. And it's again Di Matteo, and he was a third time. Viali, Hughes goes again. It's going to come back to Burley. Petrescu's outside him. And <laughs> United could feel relieved that Jonsson conceded a corner there. Chelsea were moving mightily well, and Hughes was involved on no less than three occasions in that build-up. Corner to be taken by Wise, the captain. Clark and Dewberry forward, just behind the penalty spot. And that was Dewberry! Manchester United face further examination here. Dennis Wise takes the corner, and Michael Dubery got up very well against two defenders. Schmeichel appeared to uh, go for it rather late, but to look at the jump here by Dubery to start with, it's very good. It seems to just go between uh, Schmeichel and Philip Neville. Clearly, the defender thought it was the goalkeeper's ball, and it probably should have been for a pullback and here he is the old United favorite squaring it to Wise real chance for Chelsea and Wise who scored here last season ought from Hughes's pass perhaps to have done better today he was nicely set up he was outside the area but he missed by some way Wise oh good ball it's Burley and Schmeichel thought about coming and didn't and Burley shot right across the goal Viali might be, it was LeBert who put him through, and Schmeichel has stayed back, and Viali has scored! Chelsea are 2-0 up, and Manchester United supporters distraught. Chelsea celebrate, you can't argue with their right to be 2-0 up, but look at LeBert, because he made that from way back in what looked like a defensive position at first. A ball was intercepted that was meant for Cantona. Viali beat the offside. Schmeichel wasn't coming. He wasn't coming, and when he did, Viali tucked it past him. So, on a ground where Italy were not lucky in Euro 96, an Italian puts Chelsea 2-0 up today.
and the ground is almost silent apart from the segment of Chelsea supporters but here's Cantona to put it back perhaps tremendous challenge by Dubery but Cantona's not happy and he's retaliated and had to be helped away and Manchester United's nervous cracked here again Steve Clark the peacemaker and Leberth but the referee's going to have to take some action I think well Cantona goes in, Dubery falls on top of him and then there's retaliation and the referee has certainly got a caution Dubery Michael Dubery's name going in with a yellow card now then Cantona booked in the last two league games booked again goodness me these are troubled times for the champions what they do have in the middle of all that is a corner. Solskjaer is up. This is Keane. Wide again, good ball. Beckham. They're packing in there. David May! Oh, and hooked away by Petrescu, I reckon, at the end. But the ground is in an absolute ferment here. It was away by Burley, then Petrescu. Corner again to Manchester United. The whole place fired up here. Oh, it was Cantona again. Something, Manchester United. Irwin. Expected, but probably the test from Irwin is the first that Hitchcock's really had of that nature this afternoon. It was a driven cross come shot and he tipped it over. Corner. And now Hitchcock comes to meet it. Paborski! Oh, deflected! Goal! Manchester United have something to bite on. They're back in it with ten minutes to go. Hitchcock came for the corner. Karol Poporski follows this. And it was definitely not his goal. That may well have been David May in there. Manchester United are back in the game. It was a quick reaction. But uh, although the uh, announcer has given that to Poporski, I wouldn't. Over two minutes of stoppages. Paborski trying to get down the right-hand side. Solskjaer in the way, LeBerf. And Chelsea extend their extraordinary record at Old Trafford. It's Manchester United's third Premiership defeat in a row the first time that's happened in five years it's their first defeat here in the league for nearly two years Ruda Hullet's side excelling themselves with their passing Viali getting the clinching goal or so it turned out and what a day to return for Mark Hughes the day after his 33rd birthday he gets three points here against his old club for Chelsea despite David May's late intervention for Manchester United. The first goal was scored by Mike Dubery, but you wouldn't deny Chelsea this victory. They played with a great deal of self-assurance. Manchester United on this day lacked precisely that.